Hi. So I decided to do a video about this shipment. I haven't opened this box yet. It came in the post this morning. And it, it's a pretty amazing because today is the 6th. And this was mailed on the 4th. And it was mailed from White Church, United Kingdom. Hugh Crompton sent me this package of um, boxwood. And I'm very excited about seeing not only uh, what it's like to get something shipped all the way from England, but also to see this wood because um, English boxwood is famous for its hardness and its coloring. A lot of rulers were made out of it. He certainly he really packed it up nicely. Nothing's moving around in there. Look at that. So let's open it up and see what I got. Now when I talked to him, he did send me some pictures of this stuff um, just on a bench, so I didn't really know what to expect fully. But he certainly has packed quite a few in here. Let's see what we got. There's some nice little pieces. Let's see. I don't know what this is for. Propane, diamine, and N-dimethyl. That must have been on treatment bonus. That must have been on the tape. Now. Oh, so it says here, steam treated, two coats of antibacterial oil containing propane, diamine, and uh, dimethyl. Not totally sure what all these numbers refer to. It may be that he's only able to ship this stuff to the United States with these warning labels on it to prove that there are no bugs in it. I don't really know. I'm guessing on that. But uh, all of them seem to have this label on it, so I'm assuming that that's what that's for. Boy, the, you hear the sound of that? Really nice, dense wood. So let's see what we got. We have some smaller pieces. These will be really nice for the boxing on planes. Some more. Another piece. Nice little chunk. And you know, I didn't even think about the agricultural aspects of shipping wood into the country, but it certainly makes sense. These are nice and dry and very hard. They would be great for doing some musical instruments or something like that. Um, I'll have to ask you about what these numbers refer to. This is almost like an olive wood. Look at the coloring in here. How beautiful. Here's the center. And there are some of the rings. Another center with some rings. And here's a nice one. 420.50. A little small on this side. These will make some beautiful chisel handles. And that's a nice little chunk. Wish it was bigger, but I think I'm gonna try to turn this one on, on the lathe into a little tiny bowl. Maybe, well, it'd be smaller than that, but it's a nice little piece. So, if you're thinking about ordering boxwood, from England, this guy Hugh seems to be not only very honest, but um, very quick to ship. Everything came very nice, and I would suggest that if you're going to buy boxwood, if you can find it at all, that this is the guy to buy it from. So there's my little stash of boxwood. I'm so happy. Hugh, if you're watching this, a special thanks to you. I really appreciate it. Talk to you later.
So after going through all the boards and taking a look at them, each billet, I realized that the numbers on them are just the millimeter sizes. So it's the uh, the width of each board and then uh, and then the length. And um, the odd number was just uh, an estimate on the price that he had given me. It's all beautiful and I'm very happy with it. Now let's try to do a little bit of planing one of them with a number two. We'll try a number two and see how that does uh, and I think it'll be okay. Very happy. So let's see what a number two will do. A little heavier cut than I want. Back it off a little bit. Pretty nice. Smooth, dense, and full of bird's eyes.